We have gathered here today to show our respect for those innocent citizens who died in the 9-11 terrorist attacks in 2001. On behalf of the student body, I would like to thank the Honorable Mayor Jose de la Cruz and the first responders for their presence here today. Dr. Alguez, our school principal, and his dedicated staff, the Hylia Gardens PTSA, and the student volunteers who have put their time and effort to make this event possible. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of Hylia Gardens, Jose de la Cruz. Morning. Alex, by the way, thank you for once again doing a great job with this event and doing what has now become an official Hyde Gardens uh, event as 9-11. Uh, we celebrate 9-11 every year, so thank you once again for doing a great job. And I want to thank all of you for being here and for inviting me once again. I am truly honored to be here. Um, eight years ago, back in September of 2001, our very foundation was rocked by the attack of 9-11, September of 2001. I remember eight years ago when I first heard about the attacks, I was actually at home uh, on my way getting dressed to go to work. And I will never forget the uh, fear, the anxiety that I felt that day and that night. And because of that, and because of the fear we felt that night, we do events like the ones we're doing today. So that you never forget what happened on that day. I remember uh, recently looking at the news and they were doing a story about 9-11 you know, back in 2001. And I heard the story of a cameraman who as the first tower collapsed at about 9.22 a.m., he was about 100 yards away from the tower. He turned and ran away from the tower as the dust of, of, of the cloud of uh, ashes and debris rushed towards him. As he ran, he stumbled and fell to the ground. He thought he was gonna die that day. He felt someone reach over and grab his arm and heard a boy say, brother, grab my hand, we're living together. This cameraman happened to be a Muslim and as he looked up, he was surprised to see that the person grabbing his arm had a long beard, long curly sideburns, and a jamaka. He was a Jewish man. And that example personifies the American people. The strength of the American people is not just the wealth of our nation, it's not a military power, but the power to unite in times of crisis. The power to look at each other and see a human being, not just a religion or a party affiliation, or an ethnic background, or race. That is what makes us strong. That is what makes you strong, and that is what makes this country so powerful. Osama bin Laden said shortly after the attacks that the essential difference between the United States and them is that we love life, and they love death. Think about that for a minute. We love life, and they love death. How do you defend against an enemy whose sole purpose in life is to die in order to destroy. I'll tell you how you defend against that enemy. By uniting, by making sure that every generation that comes after our generation remembers the people that died on that day. That those people on that list will not be forgotten. That their death was not in vain. It is your job to make sure that this event of 9-11-2001 doesn't just become a chapter in a history book or a footnote in a research paper. It is your job to make sure that your children and your grandchildren understand the severity of this event and the importance of never allowing this to happen again. Someone once said that the giant was awakened by this attack. Let's never, ever go to sleep again. Make sure that you open the eyes of those people that don't want to see, those people that want to turn their face away, and make sure you keep the interest of 9-11 alive. Let everyone know that this country will ever, ever fall down again. You see, our success is not being wealthy or being powerful, but being able to get up after we stumble, to dust ourselves up, and to continue to protect the freedom of our country, the freedom of our people, and to live as one, as Americans. Pre-9-11, things were a lot different in our country. We lived in a nation that had never seen an attack of the magnitude that we saw on 9-11. We thought no one could penetrate our boundaries. Well, now we know better. We know that in order to continue to protect our freedom and to continue to take freedom to other places that don't have the freedom, and many say that we like to impose our way of living on other nations, but that is not the case. We just like to give other nations the freedom to have an option, to have an option to choose their way of life. And that is our mission as the leading nation in the world. And 
as our police officers, our firefighters, and our military protect us every day, risk their life and put their lives on the line every day, we also have to put our lives on the line every day. And we have to do it by knowing that we do love life. We are willing to die for our way of living. And that is the essential difference between us and people like Osama bin Laden. We like to construct, we like to build, they like to destroy. And as the torch is passed to you to continue to let foe and friends alike, that we, the United States of America, will always be, always be the greatest nation in the world. Remember this, you are the hope of this nation. Where two mighty towers once stood, now stands the strength and the hope of our nation, and that hope is you. You are the next generation of leaders of our community. You will be the next mayors of our cities, the next presidents of the United States. You will be the next lawyers, the next doctors, firefighters, police officers. And it is up to you to continue the tradition of our nation. So thank you very much for inviting me. And Alex, once again, thank you for inviting me to this event. I am extremely proud to be here, not as a mayor, but as an American citizen. To be here as someone who witnessed the events of 9-11. And to put a little part, to be a little part of the fight of our nation against terrorism. So thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for those kind words. On behalf of the student body, I would like to present to you the 9-11 National Remembrance Flag. City Hall may display this flag in memory of 9-11 every year. Thank you for your commitment to our country and our national safety. Next, I am proud to introduce Carmen Danger, who will now sing the national anthem. Please stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars do the perilous fight where so proudly we watch oh so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land and of the free. And the home of the brave. those families who lost someone in the horrific terrorist attacks of 9-11 carefully in the palm of your hand always, especially this time of year. Please welcome those lost into your kingdom. Hold them close to you now and forever. Guide those who continue to serve and protect our country in order for us to, to experience the blessing of freedom. Give them wisdom, courage, and protection they need. I especially pray for all those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for the price of freedom. At this time, let us conclude the ceremony with a moment of silence. 